A story, if we may, about a man named Henry, quite a dreamer. Looking around, instead of seeing a winter wonderland, he saw hydroelectric energy, electricity. You see, Henry was a rather wealthy man, ran most of the streetcars down in Southern California in those days before the automobile turned it into asphyxiation alley. And those streetcars needed electricity to run. So Henry had a dream. He was to build dams, man-made lakes, up here in the central California, Sierra Nevada, generate power, send that power to Los Angeles to run his streetcars. It was quite a project because by the time he got through, his idea was to end up costing more than the entire Panama Canal to build. But nevertheless, it kept Southern California running and running well in those days before mass transit became a now dying rallying cry. Sorry, Henry, your idea didn't stick around a little bit longer. No pollution, fast transit and streetcars. That idea of yours and your Pacific Light and Power Company, now Southern California Edison. But even though your name may reside over the door at the Huntington Library and Art Gallery, or on the sign at the city of Huntington Beach, or at Huntington Park in LA, around here we still associate it with a place where the air is clean and fresh. Huntington Lake, you built it. And it's still right here on the map. With Tom Allen behind the camera, and with thanks to author Hank Johnston for writing a great book on the subject, I'm Bob Long in Fresno County.